Good evening, mathematicians. Tonight's lesson is lesson 4.7, divide using repeated subtraction. We will be working on page 81 in your Go Math book, so please write this essential question down at the top of page 81. How can you use repeated subtraction and multiples to find quotients? Go ahead and do this now. Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about using repeated subtraction to divide. Now, just like when you use repeated addition to multiply, we're going to use repeated subtraction to divide. So, so let's look at our first problem, number 2, 72 divided by 4, and I'm going to show you how to use repeated subtraction to find the quotient. So, 72 divided by 4. Now, First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a T-chart to help us keep our thinking together. So we're going to draw a chart like this. On one side, we are going to write subtract, and this is where we're going to do our subtracting. And on the other side, we are going to write record because we are going to re be recording our groups that we're going to be subtracting. So first thing is I need to look at my 72 divided by four. Well, I'm gonna start with my 72 and I'm going to subtract multiples of four from 72 until I get to zero or very close to it. So first, let's start with our 72, our dividend, and let's put it in the subtract section. Now I said we're going to be subtracting multiples of four from 72. Well, I need to know my multiples, don't I? So down the side, I wrote down my multiples of four. Now what I'm looking for is the biggest multiple of four that I can subtract from 72, and that is my 40. So I'm going to subtract 40 from 72. Now before I do my subtraction, I need to record how many groups of 4 is 40. Well, it's 10 groups of 4 because 4 times 10 is 40. So I'm going to put 10 groups over here in my record side. Now I'm ready to subtract. 72 minus 40, 2 minus 0 is 2, and 7 minus 4 is 3. Now I have 32. Now I'm going to keep subtracting because I can subtract more multiples of 4 from 32. Now do you see a multiple of 4 that you can subtract? I do. I see 32. So I'm going to subtract 32 minus 32. Before I do that, I need to record how many groups of 4 is 32. Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 8 groups of 4 because 8 times 4 is 32. Now let's subtract. 32 minus 32 is 0. So can I subtract any more? No, I can't. I've subtracted everything that I can subtract. So now I need to find my answer. What is my quotient for 72 divided by 4? Well, if I come and I look at my groups that I recorded, all I need to do is add them. 10 plus 8 is 18. So 72 divided by 4 is 18, and we used repeated subtraction to find our quotient. Okay, let's look at number three in your Go Math book. It says 93 divided by 3, and we are going to use repeated subtraction to find the quotient. So, first step is we need to draw our think and record chart, and over here I'm going to put an S for subtract, I'm shortening it, and I'm going to put an R for record. Now, when I use repeated subtraction, I'm going to subtract multiples of 3 from my dividend, which is 93, and I need to get to 0 or very, very close to it. 
So I'm going to start with my 93. And I'm going to subtract multiples of 3 from 93. Now, if I don't know my multiples really well, I'm going to come and write them down on the side to help me better understand. Okay, here are my multiples of 3 all the way up to 3 times 10, which is 30. Now, you could keep going to get a little bit further, but I always like to stop at my 3 times 10. So, I need to find the biggest multiple of 3 that I can subtract from 93 because 93 is a big number. Well, I see that 30 is my biggest multiple that I have, so I'm going to subtract 30 from 93. Now, before I do that, I need to record how many groups of 3 is that. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 groups because 10 times 3 is 30. Now, let's subtract. Not 3 minus 0 is 3, and 9 minus 3 is 6. 63. Now, I am not close to zero yet. I can still subtract groups of three. So I'm going to subtract my highest multiple again, 30. So 63 minus 30, that is another group of 10. Three minus zero is three, and six minus three is three. Am I close to zero yet? I'm getting there, but I'm still not there yet. I can still subtract another group of 30, so I'm going to do that. Minus 30, that is 10 groups of 3. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, did I get closer to zero? Yes, I did, but I have 3. Can I still subtract a group of 3, a multiple of 3? I can. I can subtract 3. And when I subtract 3, before I do that, I need to write how many groups of 3 is that? Well, 3 times 1 is 3, so it's only one group of 3. Now, when I subtract 3 minus 3, I get 0. I cannot subtract any more multiples of 3. So, I'm done subtracting. Now, I need to come and look and see how many multiples or how many groups do I have. Well, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30 plus 1 is 31. So, 93 divided by 3 is 31. Okay, let's look at number four. It says use repeated subtraction to divide. Well, first I'm going to draw my t-chart and this is where I'm going to subtract and this is where I'm going to record my groups. Now, I'm going to be subtracting from my dividend, which is 35. So that's what I'm gonna be subtracting from first. And I'm going to be subtracting multiples of four, my divisor. Now remember to help us, we need to think of our multiples of four that we can subtract from 35. Now if I look at my multiples of four, well the highest one I have is a 40, but I cannot subtract 35 minus 40. Can I subtract 36? No. What about 32? Yes, I can say 35 minus 32. So I'm going to use my 32 to subtract first. Now, how many groups of four is 32? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because eight times four is 32. So eight groups. Now let's subtract. Five minus two is three and three minus three is zero. So I got to three. Now I need to think, can I subtract a multiple of four from three? The smallest one I have is four. Can we say three minus four? No, we can't. So guess what, boys and girls? This three is our remainder. So how many groups of 
four did we make? Well, we made eight groups. So that's part of our quotient, eight. But then we have this remainder of three that we could not subtract from. So eight with a remainder of three is our answer. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at number six in your Go Math book. It says 86 divided by nine. Now, I would like you to use repeated subtraction to define the quotient for 86 divided by nine. Now, I already helped you out a little bit, and I put your multiples of nine down the side, and then I put our subtraction record t-chart here, and we know that we're going to need to subtract multiples of 9 from 86 to get as close to 0 as possible. So go ahead and press pause and work out this problem and press play whenever you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, boys and girls, let's go over our answer together. Now, I saw that the only multiple of 9 that I could subtract without going over 86 was 81. So I came and subtracted 86 minus 81. Now, how many groups of 9 was that? That was 9 groups of 9 because 9 times 9 is 81. Then... When I subtracted 86 minus 81, I got 5, and I cannot subtract any more multiples of 9 from 5. So 9 with a remainder of 5 is our quotient. So we had 9 groups, and then we had 5 left over, 9 remainder of 5. Okay, let's skip down to number 8. Number eight reads, Gretchen has 48 small shells. She uses two shells to make one pair of earrings. How many pairs of earrings can she make? So we know that our division problem is going to be 48 divided by two. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to try this problem on your own. You're going to use repeated subtraction. So press pause and do the problem in your Go Math book and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over our answer. I knew that I needed to subtract groups of two from 48. So I put my multiples down here on the side and I saw that my biggest multiple of two that I could subtract was 20. So I said 48 subtract 20. Now how many groups of two is that? 10 because two times 10 is 20. So 48 minus 20 was 28. Now, I can still subtract another group of 20. So I made sure to, to put my 10 groups of 2 for the 20. And when I subtracted 28 minus 20, I got 8. Now, 8 is a multiple of 2. So I said 8 minus 8 is 0. Now, how many groups of 2 was that 8 that I subtracted? It was four groups because two times four is eight. So when I subtracted eight minus eight, I got zero. I cannot subtract any more groups of two from zero. So let's find our actual quotient. If I look at my groups over here, if I add 10 plus 10, that's 20. And 20 plus four is 24. So 48 divided by 2 is 24 pairs of earrings. Your homework is on page 82, only numbers 1 and 2. Don't forget to assess yourself. Please write your level at the bottom of page 81 in your Go Math book. Good luck on your homework problems, and I will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.